Well, this is always a privilege when a dad gets to baptize one of their own daughters or children, and so it's a special treat. And being able to interview her this week and to uh, hear her faith and have a, a heart-to-heart in regard to her her um, her walk with God and uh, how she responded to all of that and the, the personal challenge that I gave to her and I'm just so thankful for your life, Piper, and um, we're, we're grateful to have you, not only as a daughter, but as a sister in Christ. It's such a blessing. So, Piper, I'll just ask you, have you trusted in Jesus Christ to be your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. And because of your profession in Christ, I will now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. What an incredible story of God's grace as Chris enters in here with me and uh, God sending someone to him. And uh, we praise God, Chris, for your testimony and come on over next to me. Don't stay away. <laughs> I'm here, brother. It's wonderful to see you. And Pastor Nathan's meeting with Chris and he's, uh, he's uh, continuing to uh, minister into uh, Chris's life on a regular basis and we're just delighted to have you walk with the Lord with us, brother. So, Chris, I'll just ask you, um, have you uh, trusted in Jesus Christ to be your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I have. Chris, based upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I will now baptize you. Turn this way for me. I will now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death. Raised in the likeness of his resurrection. All right, Piper, I'm going to ask you to share your testimony of how you came to faith in Christ, okay? Hi, my name is Piper. I'm 10 years old. I've been going to this church since I was a baby. I got saved when I was five or six. When I came home from church or Awana, I had lots of questions about being saved. My dad came up to my bedroom and talked to me about being saved. After they talked to me and asked me some questions, I prayed to God and repented my sins. I asked him to save me. I know that I have done some bad stuff before and after I got saved, but the good thing is that that he has already forgiven me from my sins. Thank you. Come on on up, Chris. Maybe not everybody knows Chris. Chris is new to our church, recently came to Christ. And uh, Chris, I'd love for you to share your testimony, please. Okay. So I want to start by saying I've never spoken in front of people before, so I'm going to be a little shy. So I want to start by saying that I was under some serious spiritual attack. Um, I felt really lost in my life, at my wit's end even. I have a photo or a picture of Jesus Christ in my living room. And I looked up at this photo of Jesus Christ and I prayed and I was praying really hard. I was crying and I was asking for some help. And within a week, a knock came to my door. And this man brought me two Bibles, the Holy Bible and the New Testament with the Psalms included. And that was the start of the best decision of my life. I felt as if everything was starting to make sense. I opened up my Bible and I immediately found out how to pray. So I pressed and I I prayed and confessed that Jesus died for my sins. And about, about, <clears throat> about a month later, that man came back and asked me if I wanted to come to church with him. And I said, absolutely. And I explained to him that I was now a Christian. <clears throat> and I want to say that I want to be baptized as a public display of the transformation 
that Jesus has made in my heart. I want to be a vessel that Jesus can use whenever, wherever I go, just like he used the man that knocked on my door. And I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but um, I, I, I did a prayer this morning. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to do a prayer that I did this morning. <clears throat> Lord God, let us never forget all that you do for us on a daily basis. Sustain us with the hope of our salvation and every other countless blessings you provide with your continuous presence in our lives. Lead me to live my life in testimony to your incredible blessings, that your love may be known and experienced by all those I serve. In Jesus' in name, amen. That was wonderful. Thank you both for sharing your testimonies of how God has brought you. And, of course, you'll see the man that uh, Chris is referring to, Gerald, one of our faithful gospel witnesses, sowing seeds. And uh, we praise God for fruit and a harvest. Thank you, Gerald. And thank you, Chris. And thank you, God. Praise the Lord. Yeah.